As we continue, having a good time? Great crowd here tonight. Time now for the Suffolk Sports Hall of Fame Special Recognition Award. We'd like to call up the Chief of the Bayshore Fire Department, Chief Ed Kungs. Years ago, the Suffolk Sports Hall of Fame instituted this award to give special recognition to a group, program, or organization or effort that's had a positive and long-lasting impact on the community. And another bus is arriving right now. Let's go right to that bus. Well, stop. Looks like a hockey helmet, but no, that young man along with other young men and women are junior firefighters who are climbing aboard that bus. This is the Bayshore Junior Firefighters team known as the Redskins, a team with a long and storied history, a program that was established in 1932 by the Bayshore Fire Department made up of boys and girls, young men and women, ages 8 to 18. Looking at the photos of these dedicated junior firefighters, we can tell you that the first New York State Juniors Tournament was held in Bayshore in 1969. That team had lots of competitive seasons, but broke through in 1982 with a huge upset win for their first New York State Tournament title. There have been many more since, winning 20 of 35 New York State drills more than any other team, including three in a row, three times, and four straight from 2012 to 2015, and yes, no surprise, they're the defending champions. They won the New York State Tournament last year. Ladders and hoses, parades and trophies, champions all. The Bayshore Superintendent of School summed it up in his letter to the Hall of Fame when he said, the junior firefighters have demonstrated outstanding qualities of leadership, determination, and teamwork, volunteering their time to serve the community. Over the years, so many of them would later join the Bayshore Fire Department. Nine of the juniors went on to become chief of the fire department. School Superintendent Joseph Bond calls the junior firefighters a shining example of the best of Bayshore. No one will argue with that. The Suffolk Sports Hall of Fame, as part of the class of 2018, proud to bestow this year's special recognition award to the Bayshore Junior Fire Department, accepting Chief of Department Ed Kunz. Thank you. I'm going to turn the mic over to ex Chief. Brian Butler, our director of the Junior Firefighters. Uh, I tried to get out of it once they said his name. I tried to handle the paper, but he said no. Um, but first, I'd like to thank you to the Suffolk Sports Hall of Fame board and directors and members for this tremendous honor that you've bestowed on our organization. Ed Morris, congratulations on your Lifetime Achievement Award. Well-deserved and very tough act to follow as we come up here after you. Um, going through some of my notes before we, before we came here and, and how storied the, the Suffolk Sports Hall of Fame is, I kind of went through and looked at some of the past inductees from the town of Bayshore, since we're very proud of the town we come from. Just to rattle off some names, Ralph Elliott, the Van Nostrand family, Cliff LaPlatney, Audie Drummondhauser, Bob Kaczynski, Eddie Hubbard, Frank Bolton, Jim McGowan, Tom Howard, Steve Borbay, who was mentioned earlier. But one that's near to us, that's when you think of Bayshore and a community, one that sticks out is Jumper Legio and the Legio family. And we're proud to have uh, be a Bayshore, another Bayshore family into the Suffolk Sports Hall of Fame. Um, this is not just an individual award for myself, for the chief, for the members that are here. This is a team award that's dated back since 1932. Um, we're fortunate enough to have, he wasn't a founding member of the team, but he was born when the team was started. Charlie Elliott's a 90-year-old member of the Bayshore Fire Department with 70 years of active service, who's with us here tonight. So Charlie, thank you for your service. As Dave said, we have had, our, our goal is to a breeder program to bring the, the young men and women from Bayshore up into the department. Going through since 1932, over 65% of the people that have been through the juniors have gone on to be chief, or the chiefs or the members have become coaches or part of the program. So we're very proud of that number. Um, as Dave also said, we've won 20 New York State championships since 1982 with multiple three-peats, and luckily enough, a four-peat coming in 2012, 13, 14, and 15. Um, what makes us a little different than some of your traditional programs, the football teams or lacrosse teams, is that we are made up of not just boys and girls, we're made up of eight-year-olds to 18-year-olds. So we don't just have that varsity team. Um, we have mentors, we have young kids looking to aspire to be 
fireman or just to be that athlete that those guys are. So we're fortunate enough to, to see them when they're eight and let have them grow to when they're 18 and then go on to bigger and better things in life. And we're just glad to be part of that little trip that they make. Um, like I said, we've been ex extremely fortunate to win so many titles. And one of the biggest things I say with our coaches on the bus before every tournament, that it's very easy to be a winner, but what defines you is losing. We all know that winning is not easy, but we know that's not the case. But it's easy when you win, all the bad things go away. I'll take it from my buddies out of here. The Mets were great in April, but they're terrible now, and, and all the bad things come out. The Yankees were terrible, everybody wanted to get rid of Stanton in April. Stanton's the best thing that happened since the New York Yankees since he came in. So winning gets rid of a lot of those things. But losing, what we say, defines you. It makes you stick together as a team, makes you realize that that teammate next to you is more important than just going out and winning the trophy, and that at the end of the day, we'd rather have a true friend and be a, a respected teammate than a winner. So with that said, I have to thank the Bayshore Fire Department, the Chief's Office, the Commissioners, the members of the offices for allowing us to do what we do on the weekends, in the summer, the food drives, the pancake breakfast, whatever it may be, and, and just being there for us and letting us grow into the future firemen that we could be. Um, none of this happens, obviously, without the support of our wives, brothers, fathers, husbands, wives, girlfriends, the entire family that we have in Bayshore is tremendous. It starts with our, everybody that's back there in uniform. Um, it's just, it's an amazing honor, an amazing program to be part of, and I'm, I'm very blessed to be part of that. Um, and once again, thank you very much to the Suffolk Hall of Fame for the honor and, and for being here tonight. Congratulations again to everybody, and have a good night.